20 barangay officials are now facing criminal charges before the Ombudsman for alleged irregularities during the quarantine period. The DILG says this is just the beginning. Patricia Mangune tells us more. The DILG filed charges against 20 barangay chairpersons in Metro Manila for violating community quarantine rules since March. The Interior Department received complaints ranging from the selling of liquor, street gambling, to charging fees for quarantine passes. Doon sa mga naningil sa quarantine pass, natatandaan nyo, from 10 pesos to 500, at nakasama din dito yan. Tapos kung natatandaan nyo, ano sumunod dyan? Uh, yung man nag-distribute ng pagkain, yung pera na galing sa barangay at saka pe, yung uh, distribution galing sa city, yung mga namili ng bibigyan. Halimbawa, nireklamo si Kapitan na pinili lang kung sinong bibigyan ng pagkain, tapos uh, yung lang mga kaalyado niya, tapos yung mga iba hindi binigyan. Tapos yung mga ibang barangay na hindi nag, nag-distribute ng pagkain. Tapos ito din yung halimbawa, uh, nag-distribute ng pagkain pero... Pinapunta lahat sa Barangay Hall, violation of social distancing. Among those who will face charges before the Ombudsman is Chairman Jojo Abad of Barangay Batasan Hills for allegedly not implementing social distancing in their public markets last April. Abad said he has already submitted his explanation to the DILG's show cause order and that he will respect whatever the decision of the Ombudsman will be. Siguro isang pagising din para sa amin yung ginawa ni Yusik Dino. Uh, at uh, siguro isang pamamaraan na kailangan na uh, lalo pa na impactingin ang aming uh, trabaho. O, o kailangan na lang po namin is uh, intayin kung ano po yung ibababa sa amin ng uh, kaso ng Guzman. Payatas Barangay Chairman Manuel Guarin is also ready to face complaints that his camp was negligent in enforcing physical distancing during their relief operations last April. Noong third week yata ng April, may natanggap po kami show cost order from the DILG. You know? At uh, yun naman po ay nasagot natin. The barangay officials were charged for violating Republic Act 11332 or the Mandatory Reporting of Notifiable Diseases and Health Events of Public Health Concern Act, Republic Act 11469 or the Bayanihan to Heal as One Act, and the Ombudsman Guidelines in the Implementation of Community Quarantine. It is now up to the Ombudsman to determine whether the local officials did in fact commit a crime. This is just the first batch of nearly 200 barangay officials initially issued show cause orders for quarantine violations. DILG warns, expect more cases filed in the coming weeks. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.